Now, to our next story. In a major discovery by historians, eight Knights Templar graves have been found in Staffordshire. And there could be many, many more hidden around England. I know. It's absolutely fascinating. Yeah. The Knights Templar, uh, they were a very powerful and wealthy military order, originally dedicated to the protection of pilgrims travelling to Jerusalem and the Holy Land. The name has sort of become synonymous with the Crusades and best-selling novels. Yeah, and let's speak to historian, author and Templar expert, Tony McMahon now. Thanks for joining us. First of all, what's a splendid array of trinkets you have before I you? I thought I'd bring along some little friends. So, I mean, this is a typical Templar knight. Mm. Yes. Uh, you know, the look, the white mantle, the red cross of martyrdom there. Beautiful. Um, this is a smaller version. This is the Holy Grail. Of so, course of it course, is. The, yes. the cup which held the blood of Christ, mm -hmm. which it's believed the Knights Templar may have discovered themselves in Jerusalem and taken away. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something they might have drunk out of. <laughs> no proof of that. And the Ark of the Covenant, of course, which hasn't been seen in public for two and a half thousand years. But it's but good you to bring it in and show it to yeah. us. <laughs> well, you know, just don't look inside, you know what no, happens. No, you can't. It's yes, all yes, turned yes. to a skeleton or well, turned to dust like an so Indian desert. The Knights Templar were, I mean, they really would go way back in history. Yes. They were very powerful for a long time, weren't they? How yeah. come there could be graves in Britain. Well, the thing about it is, we always think about the Knights Templar in the Holy Land. Yeah. You know, mm. if you've seen the movie Kingdom of Heaven or lots yes. of Assassin's Creed or whatever. But they were all over Europe. And what they had, they had, they were kind of like agribusinesses. You know, they had farms, basically, all over Europe, what were called preceptories. And these were like raising money for what they were doing in the Holy Land. Mm. So Enville, where you're seeing these graves, was the site of what they call these preceptories. They were like um, communities mm. where the Knights Templar would beaver away. I mean, things like farming, workshops and so on, making money. And the Knights then were able to go out to the Holy Land because war costs money. So these graves that have been discovered, they may not necessarily have a knight underneath them, but they would have somebody who would have been associated mm. with the movement. Yes. Most of the people in the Knights Templar weren't actually knights. They were what were called sergeants. Uh, they were the grunts. Yeah. Right? They were the people who milked cows, uh, you know, who made butter and honey and, and, and all these things that were then sold to make money to fund the, uh, to fund the Crusades. So more than likely, these graves, although they, they do look quite high status, so mm. there's, there's a good chance they were knights. And, you know, many of the knights would have retired or they maybe spent time in England, you know, okay. before they went on a crusade. Some of them might have died of things like plague, mm. never made it to the Holy Land. It's so. absolutely fascinating, and, and I, I could talk to you about that because I love history for a long time. Sadly, though, we are out of time. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, but thank you very much for coming in and bringing thank your you. bits and pieces with us. Be very careful how you transport them. Yes, I will. <laughs>